Today I'd like to talk about the Dupfer A150 dual voltage controlled switch, which is a plumbing module for Eurorack synthesizers that has some really interesting applications. What switches do is they allow you to switch between inputs or outputs, by which I mean you could have a signal going in here and you could switch which of these two outputs it goes to depending on a control voltage. This makes the A150 slightly different to the A151 because in the 151 you use a trigger and it flips between outputs. The difference is with the 150, when you send it a voltage of 3.6 volts or more, it flips. But when the voltage disappears, it flips back. So if you take the voltage away, it returns. That's slightly different to the 151. And the 151 I've described as like a sort of train station. You take a signal and you route it to different places. And this is true of this too, but the application leads to different things. And I want to talk about one of those applications here today. So that application is interrupting the clocks that you send a sequencer because I'm deeply inspired by the Metropolis sequencer. You've probably seen videos that I've made about that. And the cool thing about the Metropolis is the way that it stops and it repeats a particular stage. That kind of repetition just leads to a kind of funky electro acid kind of sequence. And the interesting thing is you can achieve quite similar things with the voltage controlled switch. So let's try that. At the moment, what you're hearing is the quadranted swarm and the pitch is being driven by a row of this Z8000 sequencer. That row is being driven by a clock that is coming from this quad clock distributor. And I'm triggering its gate with another clock from the quad clock distributor. And so what I've done is I've decoupled the gates from the sequence, which is a worthy thing to do, because if I slow this down, By slowing down the clock that is gating it and letting this run at normal speed, it's sort of picking out different notes of the sequence here. I mean, it's a very short sequence, but hopefully you get the idea. And this is a concept that I've used loads with regard to sequencing. Slow it down even more, picks out different bits. And if I slowed this down more, And what it would be doing is it would be repeating stages of this because this is now going possibly half the speed. So we're getting repeats of each stage, which is funky and metropolisy, but it's doing it all uniformly, isn't it? Every single time it's repeating the stage, so it's a bit static. And of course, what we could do is CV modulate this kind of has sort of the effect that I'm looking for. But let's try using the switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this, which is the clock that runs the sequence. But the funny thing about voltage control switches is these are inputs or outputs, depending on how I patch them. But what I want to do is just patch this so that one of the inputs goes to an output. And if I connect this now, got our patch back as we had it before. Yes, very good. But now that we have the switch, we can interrupt this. So let's interrupt it with this slow voltage coming from here, which is just on and off. Perfect for this purpose. Into the CV. interrupting the sequence, it's stopping at certain moments, and when it stops, the 
because the gate is continuing to trigger, then you're hearing multiple copies of that note. in different places and it's creating a kind of rhythm. Repetition is always good. And then what we might like to do is change the gate pattern, which is this one here. enough of a gate to go on that it's picking out that note a couple of times. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. So I hope this illustrates the interesting use of voltage controlled switches by interrupting this sequence, as it were, this gate pattern, which is something this lets me do, then I can achieve interesting results. Now, you could just use a VCA to do this, by the way, um, which is to say, we're just muting this on and off. So a VCA could have a similar effect, but you may like to make things even more complex. Because this is a switch, it's flipping there. That could be doing something interesting. It could be advancing something else, a second sequencer, perhaps. Something in some percussive, perhaps. It could be doing any number of things. So there are kind of emergent possibilities that might be available, depending on how you patch it. Just a thought. But a VCA can do a very similar job. thing to illustrate here is the concept of modularity <laughs> that is to say if you wanted this kind of functionality then by adding other small plumbing modules you can build functionality out of building blocks some clocks some pitches and interrupting capabilities which also could be served by a vca mean that you can build a more complex sequence uh, from simple Parts. It's not all about just buying singular, complex modules that do everything in one. You can build it because it's modular. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. <laughs>